Hi YouTube, thank you for tuning back in to The Real Ishe. Now this is actually part two to the Glitter Timberland boots. Actually I'll put a link above, pretty much you can click on, showing you how I did the first boot. Um, there are different ways to do anything in life and as with design, there's alternative ways. Now with the first one, again, I was using Mod Podge and just glitter, which I'm letting that boot dry now. So for this particular design, this boot, I will be using, I'm pretty sure you've seen the glitter paint. So this is a glitter spray paint. I'm going to be using this in conjunction with the actual loose glitter. So stay tuned to see how I'm going to do that. See you soon. So the first thing that you want to do, of course, is to tape off the area that you do not want the spray paint to go to. And that would be the ankle part of the boot. We do not want paint going there. So I got a plastic bag to put in the inside of the boot to protect it, making sure that no spray gets inside the boot either. So once you spray your first coat on, you can try to hurry up and put the um, glitter on while it's still wet. Otherwise, if you don't put it on while it's wet, it's not going to stay on. But that's okay if it does not stay on because eventually what we're going to do once the, the spray paint actually dries the first coat, we're going to go over this with some glue and then we're going to put some glitter, some more glitter on top of it anyway. So for right now, this is sticking on this part so right now what I'm going to do is allow this to dry some and then I'm going to come in later and complete it with um, covering it with some glue Okay, YouTube, so I've let it dry under the fan for a while, and there's still some loose pieces to this shoe, meaning the glitter is still coming off, so you have to seal it. Any type of glitter work you do, you must seal the work. So, I like to use a combination of seals, but today I'm going to be using 
the Mod Podge to seal it. So you just pretty much go over the entire boot again with as many coats as you feel necessary of the Mod Podge. So now that I put the glue on top, I'm going to allow it to dry. This is pretty much to seal the current glitter that was already on the boot. I'm sealing it, so I'm going to allow it to dry for at least four hours under the fan. And then we'll get back to showing you exactly how this second part came out. Stay tuned. 